All right, everybody, what's going on? Gears of War Ultimate Edition finally dropped today. Um, I went to grab it last night, and this video is actually my very first game playing. Um, I'm a little rusty because it's been a few months since I've actually even played this game. But um, I feel like it's a pretty good first game because at the end of it, I get the uh, Don't Forget Your First Achievement. And also I get the Don't Hate the Player Achievement, which is uh, always nice. So I ended up being the MVP. I don't get a lot of kills, but I get a lot of captures. This is a, a new game type called Blitz, which is basically Annex from the original Gears of War. You have to, instead of, in, in King of the Hill, you cap the hill and you're free to leave. But in this game type, you have to stay on the hill in order to get the points. So it's pretty competitive. Um, it's a little fast paced. Unfortunately, this game really isn't because our team was mostly on the hill and their team really didn't even try. So it, it kind of got boring whenever I was on the hill because nobody's really going for it. But um, I did play a couple games afterwards and it gets really fast paced and really heavy. I really like this game type. I like it a lot more than King of the Hill. But anyway, about the game t gameplay. So, I don't do too shabby. I'm pretty sure I go positive at the end of the game. I don't get too many flashy kills or anything. But, as I said, this is my first game. I'm also using the Thrash Ball Coal. You get him for playing a specific day in the beta. I can't remember which one. It was towards the end. I have him and Anya. I got her from just pre-ordering the game. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. It almost, with all the skins and everything, it almost kind of looks like Gears of War 3 in a way. I mean, it plays nothing like Gears of War 3. It plays like Gears of War 1. But it's kind of funny looking at the game because, you know, you have all the Gears, all these uh, Gears of War 3 character skins and weapon skins. But you're basically playing Gears of War 1. I don't know. I like the weapon skins, the character skins. I'm glad they added them. I'm sure some people don't like them. But everything about this game is really smooth. The shots register. Um, the connection is smooth. In this game, you won't see it because I suck. But the uh, sniper rifle headshots are really fluid. You don't really have to work because in like Gears of War, all the Gears of Wars, um, the connection's usually so bad that the shots don't register. Or, you know, you miss a shot that you should have hit. But in this game, every shot counts, every shot hits. It feels really nice getting headshots that you know you're supposed to have and the game's not fucking you over. One major complaint I have about this game. I don't know why the fuck they did it, but they did. They added Warzone to the social playlist instead of the competitive. I don't know why, because Warzone and Execution are like the... Uh, original competitive playlist for Gears of War 1 and Execution is in competitive, Warzone is not and I've always been more of a Warzone fan than I am Execution I like them both, almost 50-50, but I have to say I like Warzone about 60% and Execution about 40% if that makes any sense it kind of frustrates me a little bit that Warzone is in social instead of competitive I mean, it's not the end of the world because I can still play it at the end of the day, but I don't get the same amount of XP and shit like that. But honestly, I'm kind of, with Gears of War, I'm kind of spoiled with the respawn game types. So that's kind of what I prefer to play anyway. Maybe some of you guys can uh, agree with me there. I don't know. I, I didn't really care for the... Execution and shit like that, the non respawnable game types in uh, Gears of War 3. But in Gears of War 1 and 2, that's like basically all I played was non respawnable game types. It was Warzone Execution, uh, Guardian, it was a little bit different, but um, stuff like that because they didn't have TDM. They had King of the Hill, Annex, but Gears of War 1 and Annex, nobody ever played that shit. And Gears of War 2, King of the Hill. That's basically, if I went to go play that game now, that's all I would play. But this one, I don't know. I have my roots in this game. 
This is where I started from. So, I'd probably play some uh, Warzone and Execution again. As a matter of fact, I actually did play an Execution game, and we were partied up against a team of four, and they were all in some fucking nerd ass clan. And uh, my team, I'm not gonna bash them or anything, but it was obviously their first time playing the game. So, it didn't go too well. But it is what it is. At the end of the day, it's a fucking game. I don't take it too serious. Neither should you. Alright, I'm rambling too long. I'm gonna go ahead and end the commentary here. I'm kind of running out of things to talk about. So expect more Gears of War videos from me in the near future. I have a lot of cool ideas that I'm gonna upload over the next few months. So um, if you're interested, click subscribe and uh, stay tuned. Coalition is proud of every one of you.